Hello and welcome to Build Back Better, a series of online conversations from us here at For the Region. I am Dawn Lyle and today I'm really delighted to be talking to Mark Davies. Now Mark is the lead organiser for TEDx Swansea, which is kicking off again this year. Some of you will remember that TEDx was alive and kicking in Swansea some years ago, but it's back um, and we couldn't be more excited to catch up with Mark about his plans for this year's event. Now some of us know know Mark because he's the man behind the scenes at Introviz Swansea and South West Wales but we haven't met Mark in his own right before under his own steam so we're really looking forward to hearing all about what you're up to Mark and hearing about TEDx. Welcome to the podcast. Oh, thank you Dawn, it's lovely to be here guys and yeah I guess everybody as you say everybody knows Bernie my wife from Introviz and I tend to be a little bit, a bit behind the scenes I guess a little bit about me. I'm originally from Cardiff, which I know, you know, I hope you don't hold that against me. I've lived down here now for about eight years. So Swansea really now is my sort of second home, I guess you could say. I've, my background is construction. Um, I'm a quantity surveyor by trade when I originally started uh, work. Um, and I had my own businesses throughout that time. I met Bernie 10 years ago or well coming up to 10 years ago now and you know we've uh, started a new life together we moved down here um with our chain of restaurants and then we got involved in the uh, intrabiz uh, about 18 months ago um i uh enjoy sport as a person so i do support the football and the rugby and things like that so i'm quite keen on on sport um and as you say Generally, I'm sort of the person behind the scenes, and I tend to do the sort of things that perhaps people don't always see. But uh, I'm a pretty outgoing sort of person when you get to know me, you know. And uh, I, and I like, and I'm, I have to say, I'm quite competitive, right? Uh, which is sometimes a little. People sometimes don't see that with me, but I am competitive, and the, and the TEDx thing will show that really how oh. competitive I am. So. I guess the next thing you want to know probably is why did I get involved in TEDx? Yeah, uh, so you're sort of in the spotlight now from being behind the scenes. <laughs> you're, you're up front and centre with TEDx Swansea. So why are you interested in TEDx and how has that all come about? I guess it's through my sort of connection with the Intrabiz. Over the last sort of few years, I've got closer to the city, closer to the people. I've sort of integrated myself in, in, you know, into the community. And I am quite big on community and stuff like that and support and stuff and that's sort of and the interface thing like for the region is very connected to people and working for the community and stuff like that and and that's close to my heart so what i thought as well is that you know we've got a lot of businesses here that support our networks and stuff like that and i wanted to be able to give something back to them as well and i thought how can i sort of help you know the city in in that sense it's not all about sort of taking you want sometimes want to give something back don't you and I thought, what can I do? And then I looked into the TEDx thing. And I thought, right, that'd be fantastic. You know, we could get TEDx in Swansea. Because at the time, I didn't realise that it, it had been done before. And um, so I applied for the licence. And then there's a kind of rigorous sort of process to go through. And got that all sort of sorted and everything. And we managed to get, and I managed to get the licence in uh, sort of mid-February uh, this year. And... Because of the COVID, obviously, it had to be a virtual event. Normally, they are a, a live event. But because of the COVID, we've had to do a virtual event this year. So the concept then was, let's bring TEDx back. And why? Because the city itself now is sort of, I, you know, it's, a, it's exciting times really for us now. The city sort of coming alive as such. We've got the city deal, you know, we've got the new arena and the sort of bridge and all of that sort of going on. The, the sport side of the, of the, the city's doing well with the football. Hopefully they'll get into the premiership. The rugby's doing well this year. Wales rugby has done really well. So the whole focus on the city is, 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 is the attentions on it at the moment. And I know we've, we've lost a lot with some of the events that we norm, normally have in Swansea this year, but it hasn't stopped the momentum you know, and people now are getting involved. I know yourself done involved with the with the rail network thing, getting that together and everything. So it's really, really exciting times really for the city. So I thought, right, this is the right time to bring it back into back to the city with all these things going on. And I wanted 
I, you know, when I looked at the TEDx thing, I saw all the sort of big events that you see, you know, the, in the big cities and all this and all that. And I thought, well, you know, why can't we have that here? There's no reason why we can't. As I said, I'm a, I am competitive, and I and I thought, right, well, if we're gonna, if I do something, I put everything I've got into it. I can't help it. It's, you know, if I'm playing a game of football and it's a friendly, it's not a friendly to me. I, so I, I do try my hardest to put everything in. I won't do anything that I think I can't do. So I know that the way that we set up an exhibition and things is sort of second nature to me. So that's not the the the, the, the issue. The thing for me is to get the support of everybody to, to help. This is a non-for-profit event, is to get that support so that we can develop this uh, event into something that could be a flagship event for the city, which is what I'm trying to do. Yeah. I, you know, I see Sydney and Amsterdam and New York, all these things, with thousands of people at, the, at their events. Now, we can't automatically have a, an event like that. TEDx is very strict. And, and the brand is global. It's, you know, it, you, you can compare this sort of to Coca-Cola in a sense, you know, you, you know it's, it's that big. You can't just do anything you want to do. You've got to follow the process. So this year is virtual. There was a little bit of planning going into that. We've been very fortunate as well to, for the count, Swansea City Council. They've come on board as our main sort of sponsor for this year's event. So they've given us the hosting in the Bramwyn Hall where we're going to stream the event live on, on Zoom. So it'll be as close as we can to a, a, a real event without the audience, obviously. So they've also given us the planning permission uh, for the to, to film around Swansea because we've had a fantastic trailer made. Tim Hughes from Behind the, uh, Behind the Lens has done an amazing trailer for us, which is on the website. And they've also given us the big screen in Castle Square for some promotion as well. So they've been fantastic. And so in the meantime, when we started, then obviously we start, we've got to start from scratch as well, because there's nothing to go by. So we have to build the website. We have to do all the sort of marketing, get everything together, which is what we've done. So I've built a team now as well, which hopefully will come, will stay with me and we'll work forward year on year. Um, we've got the um, people in the admin. We've got accounts sorted. We've got marketing sorted. We've got the videography sorted. What I've also done as well, because some of these speakers, when they come on, on board with us, they may never have been on a stage before or in front of a camera, because it's not about sort of big global speakers. Yes, you can have them as well, but, but TEDx, TED like to have local people as well. They want people from your community to be represented as well, if you, you know, if you can. So it's a platform for people who may be up and coming speakers. You know, it may be people who just got something to say. You know, and we can talk about any topic. There are only four things that we can't talk about, and that's racism, politics, bad science, and religion. Anything else is open for discussion. What I did then, I've enlisted then the, I've got three TEDx speaking coaches, okay? I've also got a stress coach, and I've also got a coach for body language as well. So I'm trying to support the speakers to give their best that they can do. So they're proud of something that they've done, whether they're in business or whether they're just from, you know, a, a normal day to day job or whatever, or even a student or whatever. So that obviously that'll make the event better if they can perform their best as well. So it, it's a double edged sword in a way. But I wanted to look after the well-being of the people as well. So, wow. So it's really a it's a full team, Mark, that's uh, pulling this together. And I think you're right. You know, TEDx is such a great platform for people from our region to um, have something to say and to make their step into um, becoming a, a sort of keynote speaker. But I can't I couldn't agree more about. TEDx really putting Swansea on the map. I loved what you were saying there about the kind of level of ambition that we've all got for the city at the moment. And TEDx just really fits into that. I mean, listeners will probably be aware, but we should just say for those who aren't aware of, of TED as a global brand, you know, many of us have got our inspiration and our greatest wisdom from watching TED talks over the years. And a lot of the kind of global authors and thought leaders have all had their TED moment, haven't they? Done some amazing talks, their, their kind of life keynote would be a TED talk. So it's a great opportunity to host an event in this region and kind of put Swansea on that on that global platform. Exactly, and that's, that's the whole idea of what I wanted to do. 
And I want to share the opportunity of the venues with the various places that we've got, because we've got some fantastic venues in, in, you know, in, in our area. And it's giving back then something to the, you know, to, to the people in Swansea who are supporting us. And you're right, you know, there are so many amazing TED Talks out there, you know, for people to, to be, you only got to type in something that you want to be inspired about. And there's a, a list, of, you know, that you can watch. And I want Swansea to have somebody in that list that they've said, I want to be inspired by X or Y, and one of our talks come up, you know, and that would be just fantastic because that's what I'm aiming to try and do. I want us to be able to have, you know, at one, one point maybe have that arena full of 3,000 people. You know, that'll just be incredible. You know? I know. I love the vision. You know, and yeah. as you oh. say, it's, it's something that can build and build. It starts mm. off small, but the, the vision for what it could be for the city is just amazing. It is, yeah. And and I guess this year's one is a is almost like an introduction because because we've had to do it on Zoom, you know, and we've all been involved in Zoom meetings all year now, or, or over a year. And I've limited the event to about two hours, two and a half hours, because... You know, we haven't got the patience anymore to just sit there and watch a laptop or on your phone for two and a half hours. So I've made it concise. We've got eight speakers speaking. It's on a Saturday on the 5th of June at seven o'clock. And the reason why I've done it at that particular time it, it is twofold. One, I've got some speakers coming from America, which will be streamed across. And they're on sort of New York time, which is five hours before us so it's about two o'clock in the afternoon for them so hopefully we'll have some American audience as well and some of the, the coaches that I have one's based in Switzerland and one's based in in Greece so it's only an hour on for them so I'm hoping then that we'll have a sort of audience from Europe as well so I'm hoping that the you know we'll have a big audience to see our first event uh, virtually um, so it's going to be nice and concise you know and to the point just so that people think right yeah that was good I can't wait for next year to be live. And when we go live next year, then the opportunity then can be, it can be turned more into almost like an expo in a, in a sense then, because then we've got the opportunity then when we're live, we'll be having a hundred, because if the, the first step is a hundred in the audience, okay? And we can stream to another venue with another hundred. So we can have 200 people actually watching it live, plus obviously it can go uh, virtual as well. Um, and then after that then, we can start to step up the numbers and things like that. But what it'll give us next year when we go into it live, it'll have an experience because it'll be all day. You know, we'll be able to come in, there'll be a, an entrance, there'll be the sort of merchandise, there'll be the sponsors and the partners all sort of allow, you know, they'll all be there able to sort of share their, their you know, what they do and, and opportunities for people, the whole, the whole thing will change, you know, and it will just grow from there then, um, year on, year on. So, yeah. it, 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 you know, it, it is exciting. There's no question about it. It's an opportunity there. And the one, the one good thing I like about it is it's not for business in a sense that there's nobody sort of at the end making a big profit out of it. You know, it's just anything that we, that we raise goes into the kitty for the following year. So the more we raise, the bigger the event's going to be year on, year on. And that's the thing. So it's, I look at it as almost like a social enterprise sort of thing, rather than, you know, like an, an intrabiz or a for the region out and out business expo, you know, it's not that. It's all about the people and the community and that. So that's I'm just going to, uh, I've got to correct you there, because for the region is as not for profit as it could possibly be. Oh, there we are. <laughs> there we are. We're in the same boat. We're in the same so, boat then. Excellent. Yeah, we're, we're, a, we're a social enterprise. We're a community interest company. And uh, yeah. my role is completely unpaid. So, yeah, I, I totally agree with yeah. that. It's so important to, you know, do these things that are really trying to create something fantastic for the region and for the city. Oh, definitely. And, uh, definitely. But interesting what you've said there, and, and I've heard it before, you know, this this global brand TEDx events are run in a very specific sort of way and to give a TED talk aren't there some rules about that like it only has to be a certain yeah. length and things yeah 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 um it starts if you can only do a TED talk right um you can't be a sponsor and talk and likewise the other way around okay so specific like that you only get a maximum of 18 minutes so we try and say to people work on a 15 minutes maximum. It can be five minutes if you've got something to say, um, but 
I say to people, work on 15, because by the time you sort of take a breath and you sort of, you know, start talking about it, you know, you might extend that time a little bit. So that's the specifics of it. We can have as many speakers as we want. It hasn't got to be completely over what, like you might say, over what it's well-being. And then we have 15 speakers about well-being. It's nothing like that. Every speaker will talk about something different. So there's something in it for everybody. And I'll, I'll give you a little example of what one of the sort of things that I've seen that when, when I was going through all the videos and the training type of things and that, they had a, um, a video which was sort of set up like a, a carpool. And there was three people in a car and they were driving away from an event that they'd obviously just been to. So obviously it was set up obviously for the thing, but the person that one of the people in the back sort of said, oh, that was like an amazing event, fantastic. And the, the speak, that, that, that first speaker I thought was like, blew me away, amazing. And then the driver then uh, sort of commented then, he said, well, do you know what? He said, I, walk, I was walking out on the last speaker because I didn't fancy the subject and I thought I just won't get myself a cup of tea and then obviously we, we, it'll be finished and we can go. So I got up and as I as he started talking as I was sort of making my you know make, making my way to get up and then I stopped and started listening and you know what I sat back down and that was the best one of all for me. He said and I didn't even think I'd be interested in that and that sums up the whole thing about TED right it's about discussion creating discussion and things that people talk about. And whether it's entertainment, whether it's educational, whether it's scientific, whatever it may be, that's what Ted wants you to do. You want, they want you to talk about what you've just seen and be encouraged, inspired, whatever it may be as a result of what you've heard. And that sums it up. And that's like, to me, just the whole thing is what I want to try and create, you know, that people walk away and say, well, I can't wait for next year. Yeah. yeah so inspiring mark and um you know ideas worth spreading that's what ted is all about isn't yeah. it and, yeah, uh, yeah. That, that, that's the sort of uh uh tagline that they use yeah you know yeah yeah great oh i can't wait to uh see who you've got lined up are you gonna tell us who your speakers are or is that all still well, no 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 everything's sort of um all out in the open now the website every everything you need to know or you want to find out is on the website which is simple is tedxwansea.uk um, so it's simple to find you go on there and you'll see the the trailers on there which uh, we've had done which is really sort of all about swansea which is really really cool um and it's punchy and sort of urban it's really it's a fantastic trailer and then we have all we have the list of all the team members who's who what they're what they're doing um, in a way, they're sponsors as well because they're providing their services. Because, to be honest, because we're doing it online this year, the cost of setting it up isn't massive, so we don't need a lot of revenue to you know to get it going. Um, and all the people that have come on board basically are giving their time and their services to provide everything that you know for this event. So that's fantastic. And I'm really grateful to all of them, you know, and, it, you know, it, I'm hoping that they'll get the, the sort of um, benefit from it in terms of, this, you know, the, the recognition from people. And we'll be able to move on together and grow as we go along. I've got a lot of people, um, some of the bigger organisations who are all really keen to get involved with the venue or really keen to get involved next year when we start to go into a bigger scale. Um, so that's really encouraging as well. Um, yeah, and, and I think, you know, it, it will definitely just get bigger and bigger and bigger and you know it's going to be great for everybody involved to be fair you know but the website as i say is all has all been put together um you'll see all the speakers on there as well but we've got a, a quite a mixed range of speakers we've got um university professors professors we've got angela Byrne from itv speaking bernie's doing a spot as well but all the subjects are all different you know and, and that's the incredible thing there's something in there for everybody to listen to you know and i'm sure that you know, they're all going to be, you know, really pleased with what we put on this year. And um, can we register to attend then? Is that via yeah, the website yeah. as well? Yeah, yeah. It's on Eventbrite, but it's just as easy to go to the website because you get all more information and more feel for the thing then. And there's a there's a link on there. It'll take you straight to the the, 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 uh, the website. And, um, you know, we've, we've got quite, we've, I mean, we've got quite a lot of people already registered, you know, uh, for the event. Um, next year it'll be a little bit more exclusive as well because there'll be sort of 
that people can be there live and watch it live, obviously. Well, I, I, I remember from when, um, when the, well, I remember from when Steve used to run the event, it was yeah. sold out every time, you know, yeah, so yeah. well supported by the city. And I guess when it's an online event, more of us can attend. But uh, next yeah. year, we'll have to be quick off the mark. I know, and I know I've met, and Steve and Lee, who, who, who organised it, they've been great support uh, to me as well, because I didn't realise, obviously, as I said at the beginning, that there was one um, had been done before. And, I, and I've looked at, obviously, what they've done. They've been really helpful and supportive. Um, and encouraging me, you know, to sort of move forward with it, and I and I think I want to, you know, do them proud and and take it to the next level because they start they started it, you know, and you know I think they took it probably as far as they could in terms of what they you know what they could do with it. Yeah, um, they I think they they did a fantastic job, Mark, and um, we sponsored it for one of the years, um, and it was at the National Waterfront Museum, the the events mm. that I attended. And as you say, you've got big boots to fill there because they yeah, uh, yeah. they did a great job to get it up and running. But it's mm. it's a lot of work, and I'm sure they're really pleased to see it going forward under your management. And um, yeah. it's good to hear they're supporting that. Oh yeah, yeah, and it's great. I mean, it seems like the TEDx thing is a family sort of, sort of feel with everybody you know everybody seems to want to be able to support you and help you if you've got any questions or things like that so so it does give you that it, you know that's a community in itself in a way you know and, and that's really good as well so the whole thing is encouraging you know yes as you say it's a lot of work and it's going to be more and more work as we go along um but I'm looking forward to it you know and I just and I, I just can't wait I just can't I just you know, I know where I want to be with it. And it's just like I said with the talks. When you look at the talks, every, you know, Ted is only interested in the talk. And they do, and we have to edit all the videos and everything just so that they go up onto their YouTube channel. But there's so much more on the event when we do it live, you know, for the people. It's more of an experience then as well. So that the, 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 the talks are the highlight, but there's so much more going on, obviously. But being able to take people from Swansea being used as an example of their video to, to inspire someone is what I'm looking for. And I, I'd love to be able to say, because I see these things and they say, oh, there's someone from Fort Lauderdale there and there's someone from New York there and there's someone from sort of God knows where there, you know? So it's not impossible. It's all about the topic and what's what it, what spot it hits i guess you know yeah massive platform for the speakers great platform for swansea putting the city and the region on the map it will be great to see it grow over the coming years and i can sense your excitement your vision oh, yeah, and your I, ambition yeah. yeah yeah i'm really looking forward to it uh dawn there's no question you know it's something that um as i say i didn't realize it put me in the forefront of things all right i didn't expect that but I would take it on board, I suppose. You know, I've got no choice but, uh, but <laughs> to do that, really. But as I say, I'm really looking forward to it. It's something that I've been able to get my teeth into. It's nothing to do with what I do on my day job type of thing. It's purely me. So I've been able to immerse myself in it and, and, and really get myself all worked up and excited about it. So it's great. <laughs> Oh, amazing, Mark. Yeah, I'm excited too. I can't wait for the event and I can't wait to see it grow. And I share your vision of the new Swansea Arena being packed to the rafters for future yeah. events in years to come. So well done for bringing TEDx back to Swansea. Thank you on behalf of everyone for putting in the legwork to make that happen. I'm sure it's going to be amazing. So to all our listeners, please do head on over to the website and um, book your tickets for this year's event. And if you run a business and and fancy getting involved I'm sure there are opportunities um, to offer your support and lend a hand um, for this year's event and as it goes forward mm -hmm. and probably among our listeners there'll be um, aspiring TED speakers as well so now you've met Mark he's the man to talk to and uh, put yourself forward and I'm sure there'll be opportunities if not this year then in years to come but do support the event great for the city great for the region uh, we're very much behind you Mark and thanks for taking the time to come and talk to us about it oh you're welcome Dawn thank you for having me I really appreciate the, the opportunity really to, to, to spread the word you know thank you very yeah. much you're welcome. Yeah, spread the word, everyone. And we'll see you on Saturday, the 5th of June, 7 p.m. Book your tickets online. And uh, thanks for tuning in to today's episode of Build Back Better, all things exciting and positive for Southwest Wales. Uh, we'll uh, speak to you again next week. Thank you for listening. <laughs>